The nor'easter that began over the weekend took a toll on several of our local beaches. Sky 4 flew over the coast this afternoon from Little Talbot Island south to Volano Beach, where beachgoers and residents report seeing erosion. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy was at Little Talbot, where visitors say they can see what the nor'easter has done. Visitors tell me that since the nor'easter, they've noticed a lot more debris just like this here on the beach. And if you take a walk over here with me, you can see this is normally the boardwalk access point to the beach. And visitors say usually the sand is up to here, but now you can see right underneath it. Chris and Terry Mead love to treasure hunt at Little Talbot Island State Park. We were metal detecting. Especially after a nor'easter. A northeaster it takes off all the sand, so we're down couple of decades right now. But the Meads say the most recent nor'easter caused major beach erosion. Well, it's taken about, oh, at least six feet of sand off at the dune side, and that's all gone. The couple says visitors used to be able to walk right off this boardwalk to the beach, which now drops off. This is definitely the most dramatic that we've seen it. Since this nor'easter. Exactly. This is a pretty good one. Surfer Bradley Pinto says he notices more debris than a week ago. Just this weekend, it was everything was fine, and then once uh, the waves started pushing in, it washed out all the sand. There's trees all over the beach, all kinds of debris everywhere. Similar sites are being seen along the coast of northeast Florida. St. John's County officials say all of its beaches were impacted in some way by the nor'easter, causing erosion in some areas. In Summerhaven, county officials say there was an overwash over old A1A. And in Porpoise Point, a homeowner shared this video with News for Jacks showing the conditions over the weekend during high tide, capturing the waves crashing up against the seawall. This here behind me gives you a little bit of a better look at some of the erosion. And during high tide today, the waves were coming all the way up to the dunes here. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, the local station.